the brazen stabbing spree that left two people dead and six injured has people here on the Las Vegas Strip on edge, especially those who walk it regularly dressed for grabbing attention. A mass stabbing on the strip left a trail of chaos and blood behind. Eight victims, two dead, and a lot of anxiety in the wake of the senseless act, especially among those who walk the strip day and night like Jesus Guadalupe. I think that's a tragedy. I'm Guadalupe gonna... says he basically lives on the strip, drumming, dancing, and singing anything he can do to make ends meet. Now he's keeping his head on a swivel. It is scaring me. I'm, I'm, I'm kind of leery of people now, so I guess now you just gotta watch where you're at and, 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 and watch your surroundings and you just don't know who you encounter because at the end of the day, the streets are dangerous. Witnesses say several of the victims were sidewalk showgirls, which has the industry on high alert. Every shift is like a Russian roulette. Yeah. Jelly Woods and Kendall Garza are owner and manager of Mystique Showgirls. Woods says she's constantly telling her girls to protect themselves by carrying pepper spray and pocket tasers and keeping their eyes open. My girls walk down that way all the time. We always go down there, that could have been us. Wood says now many of her employees are taking a second look at their careers. I have had some employees who don't want to show girl anymore, and I really can't blame them because it is a scary situation. The one thing that is keeping people who frequent the strip at ease is the fact that police brought that masked stabber into custody just minutes after the attack. On the strip, I'm Sean Delancey. This morning, President Biden making his most outspoken remarks yet about the threat of potential nuclear war. The president arrived back to the White House last night after telling his audience at a fundraiser that Russian President Vladimir Putin is, quote, not joking when he talks about the use of tactical nuclear weapons or biological or chemical weapons. Biden added, we have not faced the prospect of Armageddon since Kennedy and the Cuban Missile Crisis. <laughs> U.S. officials have warned Russia could use weapons of mass destruction in Ukraine as Moscow faces a series of strategic setbacks. Ukrainian military officials say they've now taken back more than 150 square miles of land from the Russians since October 1st. And as Russian troops retreat, they're leaving behind new evidence of atrocities. Oleksandr is the deputy head of the team looking into possible war crimes. He says in practically every town, there were such places where people were brought in for interrogation and torture. His team getting a tip on a potential mass grave and unearthing this, an apparent torture pit dug into the ground, buried near the bottom what appears to be civilians. Meanwhile, the exodus of fighting age men from Russia is taking a new turn. Two Russians fleeing Putin's military draft have requested asylum in the U.S. after sailing across the Bering Strait to a remote island that belongs to Alaska. The Russians were taken to Anchorage for processing. The narrowest distance between mainland Russia and Alaska is about 55 miles. Now, the governor of Alaska says he does not anticipate a steady stream of Russians heading into his state anytime soon. Jay O'Brien, ABC News, Washington. This was once a beautiful resort on the water in Fort Myers. This was a two queen kitchenette room. So you would have your beds here. You would have this was the bathroom. Completely got it now. Completely got it. Now room after room destroyed after Hurricane Ian made landfall nearby last week. We were making like a game plan on, you know, okay, if it gets one more step up, we're going to swim and then just start waving for whoever to come get us. Behind the hotel, boats slamming into the dock and washing ashore. This is all debris from the boats yes. here. Yes, this is all debris from the boats, from the dock, from other people's yards or trash. It's, it's just from everywhere. Crews hard at work as they try to clean up and one day rebuild. As long as we have food, we're alive and we have each other, we're all right. We're just going to rebuild. We're strong and we're going to come back. So. More than 100,000 still without power. Most of the customers here in hard hit Lee County. There's a couple pockets that the uh, electrical co-op in Lee County are still working on. I know they've made some progress in Cape Coral. We, we surged a bunch of extra linemen there, but then you have places like Sanibel where the whole system was just destroyed. 
Search and rescue crews still going door to door looking for survivors. Nearly 100,000 structures already searched. Particularly in those really hard hit areas, searching for survivors and searching for, for what may be behind there. So it's really been a Herculean effort. There have been some major signs of progress. Officials say more than 5,000 miles of roadway have been cleared and reopened. And same with more than 2,500 bridges now deemed safe. Rena Roy, ABC News, Fort Myers, Florida. Despite sky high inflation and fears of a recession, jobs have been a bright spot in our economy and Wall Street. New numbers show the economy added 263,000 jobs in September, slightly more than economists have estimated, but it does mark the second month of falling totals. Still, President Biden praising the progress while touring a Volvo facility in Hagerstown, Maryland. Our job market continues to show resilience as we navigate through this economic transition we're in. According to the September jobs report, the unemployment rate ticked down to 3.5 percent, with jobs added mostly in leisure, hospitality and health care. And though more Americans have jobs, it's still not enough to keep the Fed from raising interest rates this year, nor slow the onslaught of what many fear could be an approaching recession. It's not where the Fed wants to see it, and this really doesn't give the Fed any reason to pull back on its planned aggressive interest rate hikes moving forward. For now, Americans are bearing the weight of record inflation and rising cost. I work hard, uh, keep a uh, rigid budget, and uh, try to, uh, you know, engage in activities that produce the uh, maximum amount of income. But some budgets are no match for the climbing gas prices. In California, the average is $6.43. One gas station topping 8 bucks a gallon. It's crazy. And Thursday, we'll get inflation rate figures where we're expecting to see high rates again, but economists will certainly be watching for any sign of retreat from recent sky-high levels. I'm Morgan Norwood, ABC News, Los Angeles. Kristen Vanover was out costume shopping. What do you think of this one? And finding Halloween expensive, now having to buy for two boys. Two of everything, so... You know, I always try to look to save. The National Retail Federation says families spend an average of $100 a year on costumes, candy, and decorations. To save, experts say the trick is buying early because the longer you wait, the more prices creep up. You may be left with the less popular candy at an undesirable price. Melissa Sid with MySavings.com says when it comes to candy, check out drug stores like Walgreens and CVS. She says use digital coupons on top of sale prices. Plus, you can submit receipts for cash back rebates through sites like Ibotta or Fetch. Which gets your price really, really low, usually under $2 per bag. To save on costumes, you can visit Walmart's $5 and $10 section or stop by a resale shop like here at Once Upon a Child. Anything a child might want. They're going to find it here. Store manager Laura Lewis says her slightly used costumes are half the price of new ones. This one, $10 for this costume. Princess Jasmine, this, $10. Meantime, for party supplies, Melissa says hit the dollar store for tablecloths and paper plates. Also stock up now on non-perishables like chips and soda. Ready for pumpkins? Melissa suggests looking for pumpkins that are less than 30 cents per pound. If they're being sold at a flat rate. Of course, you want to look for that biggest, nicest looking pumpkin that you can get at the cost. Some cheap pumpkins, discounted candy, and a secondhand costume, and that way you don't waste your money. I'm John Matteris.